Barry, uh, the Porn Stars podcast, mm-hmm. right? The first time watching it, because I heard, I saw a tweet, someone saying, uh, one knee. Then I went to watch the podcast, I think it's called The Chat Room. So, these girls are getting BBLs, and, and then these BBLs are funded. Mm-hmm. So the girls... to further pursue their gotcha. adult career, uh, adult entertainment careers, uh-huh. right? So now they're repaying these BBLs and there's some vibes where apparently um, their social media is controlled by someone. I tried following Wendy on Twitter because I wasn't following her and account is locked and it says I will only accept uh, uh, um, follow fo- fo- follows if you prove you subscribe to my OnlyFans. Yes, yes, yes. And then Instagram, I couldn't find it. And people like the comments were switched off, etc. And somebody else is controlling it. And when they get that side, apparently they, they, they take their passports. Oh and now they're yes. working to pay back the money. And it's it's not comfortable at all for them. And, and the tomorrow- Hi loves, welcome back to my channel for those who don't know me, I go by name for Unfiltered Kitty and if you're new here, definitely subscribe to this Unfiltered Film Honey. So loves, on today's video, we're actually going to feature Uwandil and Zovu. So, I just saw this short clip here, Podcast and Chill, and Usol was saying, Oguzi, what's going on with Abu Wandil? Like, he's worried about her, mainly because of she, he watched some podcasts, and they were talking about how you see these girls are going to Nigeria, claiming to, you know, to go there to pursue their dreams in terms of whatever career that they are doing. But meanwhile, they are there, their BBL are being sponsored, and... Uh, they have to pay it back. Hence, why you'd find them not no longer in like interactive when it comes to their social media. Uh, like for example, Owen Dili, when you go there on Twitter, like in order f- to follow her, you have to be a subscription member of her, the OnlyFans page and stuff like that. So, guys, it made me realize. We'll see. I even did the video about this, about Owen Dili. So, guys, we know that, like, I did a video regarding the fact that uh, there was a video that she posted on her story. And I saw some, like, I would like to say, I'm a, I would like to believe her, like, like, as you know, I'm a drugs, guys. So, uh, people were saying, nah, you're overthinking it and stuff like that. They were coming for me, guys, on the comment section on when it comes to that video. But something didn't, didn't feel right, guys. Watching that video... I would actually link it on the description box if you haven't watched it. Guys, something didn't feel okay. Like, you can tell that person in that video, oh, and guys, who was so high. And I wouldn't believe good is because of she has been drinking because of there's alcohol there. And there's a lot of things in that video, guys. But the way Nali Haika Tengi, you wouldn't say good to that high is coming from Uchwala, guys. Like, honestly speaking, like, go back and watch that video, guys. Even though people were like, no, what you are seeing there is salt because of their drinking tequila and stuff like that. Maybe, th- maybe like, they have to take that tequila with salt and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, it's it does make sense, né, guys. Their reasoning, it does make sense. But, Mina, the only thing that stood up is, is the way Wandi was acting. Like the way Nachava Katani like yes, you like a person who doesn't know Uwandi you would think would say she's just happy, having fun and stuff like that. But you could tell good um Zanale Aiko okay right now. So guys, like let's just talk about how she has disappeared on the internet. Okay guys, Uwandi, like the the time that she took off to Nigeria, let's just remember good say her career was popping. Ikiriyaki guys was popping and she was all over the internet. She was going on live on Instagram and being interactive with her, like like viewers, supporters and stuff like that. But ever since she moved to Nigeria, the only time I remember her being interactive here on social media it was when she was getting her BBL. She was still continuing, like, posting herself and stuff like that. But nowadays, she has disappeared. Yes, yeah, she does post there and there. But you could tell, Lomundulo is no longer the same. 
And the reason why I'm actually saying this is because of guys, when Umu and moved to uh, Nigeria, her career here in South Africa was just popping, guys. She was going on live, going on podcasts, talking like Abu Wa, and people were actually enjoying her. They fell in love with her on that show, and like she got a lot of fans and stuff like that. And she was so interactive, guys. Like, let's just be honest. She was so interactive in terms of her lives on Instagram, talking to people. Like, as you know, want. But ever since she moved there, guys, according to off, yeah, she does post. And we see good she's living her best life. But is it really her best life? Or by Ricky some other thing? And we can't just blame... Hey, because of you already knew who the value your stand is in. And her body, guys, is banging. That PBL that she did, I won't lie to you, it's banging. So clearly, they spend a lot of money. If, like, what Utsol is saying is actually true, then clearly they have spent money on her. So there's a lot of money that she needs to repay. And obviously with interest. So it's difficult for her to come back home. Because of guys, as we said, like her career, her following and stuff like that, it was popping when she left like here in South Africa. So what's happening? Why she's no longer interactive? Why is she quiet? Why is, is she no longer engaging with her like followings and like fans and stuff like that? What happened? You want to tell me because the only reason why is because of she's living her best life? No. That best life, you need to maintain it by being like consistent here on social media because of, let's just be honest, she's a, she's a influencer, I would say that. Or maybe if I can be like an influencer, I would say uh, a, a, a celebrity because of she was on that show, Coco Show Max and stuff like that. So why are you not keeping up with your followings? You enjoy that life. When you were popping, you enjoyed it. But ever since Ukul Nigeria, you don't care anymore. You don't care on anymore. It's like you have disappeared. Yes, you do like post those pictures there and there. But what's happening with your life? Like there's some truth when it comes to what Usol is saying, guys. Coming to off, guys. Coming to off, and we need to open our eyes. And maybe our sister there in Nigeria are like are seeking for help. And you know, we think we could see they're just living their best life just because of they post themselves, go expensive shops and stuff like that. Or maybe they do enjoy being pimped out. Maybe like I might be overthinking it, and she enjoyed being there and being pimped out. Maybe they're not forcing her to post these pictures so that she may seem as okay. Who knows, guys? Asas, maybe like she's okay with it. That's the life that she wants to live. But guys, going back to that video that I actually posted, guys, please go and watch that video and tell me and come back on this video, guys, and tell me on the comment section down below. We'll see. Like, how did U Ulona seem in that video? Oh, Andy, guys. Did he seem like he was drunk over because of he was she was having a tequila and stuff like that or she was high on something? But because of Mina guys, that video was so suspicious going na guys. Like honestly speaking. But anyway, guys, that's my two cent opinion and I would actually like watch that episode a uh, podcast and chill nam sanjing or three guys. And if you are watching this before 3 o'clock, let's just go and watch the podcast and chill and listen in terms of what are they really saying about this situation. Maybe, guys, it's deeper. Let's just be honest. Maybe it might be deeper than what we think, guys. But anyway, that's my two cent opinion when it comes to this whole situation. Do feel free to comment yours on the comment section down below. And if you're new here, definitely subscribe and become a member of this unfiltered from Honey. As I always say, Gumnandi Apa Omelendoni. What are you waiting for? Do subscribe so that you can become a member of this unfiltered from Honey.